Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be walking you through how to work with a multi-select person field from a SharePoint list or document library in Power Automate. In a SharePoint list or within a library, the person column has an option to allow multiple choices. We have a list here and there's a person column that we can see that there can be one person attached, two, three, and even more. We want to extract those emails into a usable way with Power Automate. So I'm going to go into Power Automate and create a new flow and I'll make it automated, meaning it will run when a certain action happens. Just for the purposes of demonstration, I'll do it for when an item is created. Then I'll click on create and we'll first connect up the list. So this flow runs when an item in the examples list from the automation site is created. Now for our first action, let's just take a look at what the person field outputs. I'll add a compose action and in the inputs, I want to add the entire person field, not the value, but the entire column into the input. I'm going to name the action get person column value. All right, let's run this. I'll save it and then I'll click on test. And just for the first run, I need to do this manually to get some data in there. I'll click on manually, then I'll click on test. As Soon as I click on test, it's going to wait for me to do the trigger action, which is to add an item to the list. So I'll do that and I'll make sure to include more than one person to the list item. The test flow will trigger and we can see the results here. When we take a look at the get person column value action under outputs, we can see that we have an array of objects. In this case, we want to grab the email from each of these objects, but you can do this for any one of these fields. And to do that, we need to use the select action. I'll click on edit and add another action, which is going to be select. Within the from field of the action, I want the output of the compose. Now, when you're mapping a select, you can do it with a key value pair, but we can also just allow Power Automate to save us some time. I'll choose this little option, and now we can provide a piece of dynamic content. You can do this for emails, display names, whatever you wanted from the field. I'll choose email, and Power Automate will immediately put the action inside of a loop. That's just how it treats every single array object automatically, but we don't want this. So what we're going to do is we're going to select and drag the select action out of the loop, and then we'll delete the for each action. Taking a look at the select action, we can see that it's only selecting the emails. Great, let's run this again by choosing save and then by choosing test. Now that we have some data to work with, I can use the automatic option and use some recent runs. I'll choose that previous run and then click on test. We can see that it ran successfully and when we take a look at the select action in the outputs, now we can see the emails from the item inside of an array by themselves. This would work for one person, two people, three, a hundred, however many may have been inside of the column. That's great, but how do I make these emails inside of the array usable? Like in the format needed for sending an email or to add people to a Microsoft Teams or even displayed as a string. Well, we can use the join action. I'll edit the flow again and I'll add another action, the join action. I'll choose it and I want to select an array, which is just the output from the select action. Just make sure you choose the output rather than the output item. Then I can choose however I want to separate out the indices in the array. So if I put the semicolon, that would allow me to combine all the emails and then send them in an email or a Teams message, or even add them to a Microsoft team. Great, let's test this again. I'll save it and then choose test and run it again. Looking at the join action, there's our emails in a nicely formatted way in the output. It doesn't add the semicolon on the end because the join action knows that Jane Marks in this case is the last email inside of that previous array. Now I can pop this output into an email to field, add them to a team, whatever I wanted to do with it. I can always change the join with inputs to whatever I wanted as well. And that's how you can work with a multi-select persons field in SharePoint and Power Automate. This works for the person field in SharePoint, whether it's from a list or a document library. We hope you enjoyed this video and if you have any questions just ask down below and check out our guides and resources available in the description.